guys, today we'll be making an adorable ruffle Christmas snowman deco mesh wreath. What you will need, an adorable snowman, and this is actually a yard sign. I have a wreath ring. I have black, green, blue, white, and pink deco mesh, Chanel stems, scissors, and a hot glue gun. Alright, let's get started. I'm going to take half of a Chanel stem and place it on the outer stem and twist it a couple of times. Take another Chanel stem and place it on the inner ring. And one more Chanel stem back on the outer. So as you can see, I'm alternating outer, inner, outer, inner. And I'm going to continue going all the way around the wreath. So the next one is going to go on the inner, then outer, and then inner again. You can definitely place four Chanel stems in each of your six sections if you choose to do so, but I feel like three in each of my six sections makes a pretty decent sized wreath. I'm going to get the rest of the stems placed and we'll start adding our deco mesh. I have all of my stems in place and now I have cut my deco mesh into eight inch long pieces each of my five colors now you can adjust the colors just depending on what colors you have in your center sign but I decided to go with these colors just because they're not the normal Christmas colors but you can just have fun with whatever colors you decide so I'm going to slightly overlap my colors so I have my pink in place I'm going to take my black and overlap it on top of the pink about halfway and then the blue is going to go over the pink. So what I'm doing, I'm alternating from one side to the other. And they're all going to overlap in the center. So there will be five pieces of mesh in each bundle. I've used three pieces before, four. Once you have the pieces all layered, scrunch, scrunch, scrunch it in the center. Just like that. Pick this Chanel stem. I like to start on the outer Chanel stem. Place your mesh twist it a couple of times and tuck away the mesh and then you can fluff and flare out your bundle so I'm going to repeat the same steps but I'm going to alternate the color order for my bundle I just think this makes a cuter and brighter and more fun wreath so I'm layering the colors one on top of the other and it doesn't have to be perfect And then I'm going to scrunch, scrunch, scrunch it in the center. Go to my next Chanel stem, which is going to be the inner stem, since I just placed the last bundle on the outer stem. Place my bundle, twist it a couple of times, and tuck away the Chanel stem. And I'm just going to repeat these steps all the way around the ring, alternating from the inner to the outer, inner, outer, and alternating the color order as well. You can definitely make the same wreath with 10 inch long deco mesh that looks really pretty as well. So this is what one section looks like. It's so cute and poofy. I'm going to get the rest placed and show you the finished product. Alright, this is the last bundle. It looks so cute and precious. Once I have all of my bundles in place, I have a total of 18 bundles 
Each bundle has five pieces of deco mesh. Now I'm going to just fluff up and flare out my bundles. I'm going to separate the layers just like that, just to make it even fluffier. And it also covers up the Chanel stem. I use white Chanel stems, but you can definitely use a Chanel stem that's part of your color scheme, whatever you prefer. So I'm just fluffing up all of the mesh. I think this is so cute. It's I like the color scheme because it's not the traditional Christmas colors. So that's what I like about it. But go with whatever you prefer. Now we're going to start working on our sign. So this is a yard sign, but I thought it was so cute. So what I'm going to do is just take the wooden stake off the back of the sign. And I'm going to take my Chanel stems. Instead of using two Chanel stems, I'm going to use one and a half Chanel stems. Just to make sure I have enough stem hanging off the side of the sign where I can easily attach it to my wreath. And now I'm just going to use hot glue to glue my stems in place. Alright, and now I'm just going to place the snowman in the center of my wreath and push the mesh aside to find the actual wreath ring and I'm going to loop the Chanel stem around the ring a couple of times just to make sure it's nice and secure. Again you can use whatever color Chanel stems you choose to go with but I'm going to secure all four Chanel stems and then I'm going to use my mesh to kind of hide the Chanel stem and fluff up the mesh to make sure there are no gaps or spaces. actually decided to bring the top Chanel stem down a little bit so that it wasn't visible in between the arms of the snowman. And you are all done. So cute, simple, and easy to make. Modify the colors, the style, change up the sign. You can even add additional embellishments if you choose to do so, whatever you'd like. All items were purchased at Dollar Tree so you can make this entire wreath for less than $10. So cute, simple, and easy to make. Mm -hmm.